the local restaurants that are choosing to stay open for dining say they will use the Constitution to defend their actions and an Encinitas law firm is taking up this fight. Yeah, joining us this morning is Michael Curran, a partner at Curran and Curran Law. Thank you so much for joining us here. Can you briefly explain what this constitutional argument means? Sure, I appreciate you carrying the story. It's a very important story to our restaurateurs, our salons, and our gyms. So the Constitution never went away. We, you know, all of the air in the room has been taken up with the coronavirus and COVID-19 and, and those concerns and their legitimate concerns. But let's get back to basics. The basics are this, the Constitution is the highest law in the land. And the Constitution says that you have a right to peacefully protest against government grievances. The government is taking away my client's right to run their business. It is a taking without any compensation. It's unconstitutional. A couple of judges, both in LA and San Diego, have already determined that it is an, it is an arbitrary order. It's just simply the government doing something, but it's not responsive to what they really need to do. And my clients are not the cause of the spread. So they are exercising their right to stay open as part of a constitutionally protected peaceful protest. Uh, Michael, I'm just curious, assuming some of your restaurant clients, most of your restaurant clients maybe are arguing specifically to reopen for outdoor dining, but for instance, you have the mayor of Encinitas talking about possibly revoking those sidewalk and those street permits that have been issued for some of those clients. Would they then plan to open for indoor dining instead as a means of this protest? You know, it's a, it's a very good question and a valid one. And, and what we suggested to them is to use good judgment. The first and foremost, exercise good safety protocols. If the city is going to take away their right to use the street and the sidewalk, uh, they're going to be left with no choice but to resort back to indoor dining, uh, properly distanced tables, wearing their masks and exercising good safety protocols. But we're not giving them specific guidance on that because every restaurant is set up a little bit different. Those many of those have high booths that you know creates a nice space. They've put plexiglass. These restaurants have, have bent over backwards, done everything they can to stay open and serve their community. So they'll use good judgment. They'll be safe, but they will remain open. And Michael, this is not the first battle in court against the stay at home orders. We've seen other legal challenges to these closures fail. What makes this one different? Because we're putting the burden on the government. These these various lawsuits have had some difficulty through the courts because they've gone in and said, hey, stop these orders. Our position is different. We haven't taken our clients into court. Our position is this. You, the government, have the burden of proving that you have a valid constitutional order. And we already know from different court rulings, it's not valid. It's not constitutional. They're arbitrary orders. They are not narrowly tailored. They are not the least restrictive orders. In fact, they're very, very restrictive. They have literally taken away over 60% of the businesses in San Diego so far. And I think some 98,000 businesses across the country is some huge number without any real justification in science, evidence, or law, frankly, that what they're doing meets constitutional scrutiny. But I assume, uh, Michael, that if, if in fact it did come down to a fight in court over a cease and desist order or over some of these citations, that ultimately that would be the defense that's used if you were representing those clients. Exactly right. We're going to say before you get to issue my client's citation, take away their business, issue them a fine, whatever, you have to have a constitutionally valid safety order behind you and we know from these different rulings we know from judge wolfield's ruling they have been given the opportunity to prove that they haven't been able to prove that we know from their health and safety officer the chief safety officer in the state um, he has dr gailey he said we really have no evidence the restaurants are causing the spread we're just um uh, in keeping the restaurants down because we want people to stay in their homes if the restaurants are open they're more inclined to go out that does not meet a constitutional standard. All right, Michael, thank you so much.